Hey everybody, okay, so today I'm doing a Sandra Park look from the music video I'm the best and this is a scene where they're like swirling around the chair and they're like saying I'm the best I'm the best or whatever. <laughs> it's like the chorus. I have no idea what it is But anyways, um, I'm doing Sandra Park's look and it's just really this really nice I cannot talk today. It's just very nice winged out um, smoky eye and I'm starting out with Sandra just because I didn't do her lonely look just because I didn't think it was anything that special But yeah, I really like this look it's very dramatic on the eyes very glowy highlighted cheeks and then a new pink lip um i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and all the screenshots that i took of the video will be posted on my blog below i'll post a link to the video right here if you guys want to go check it out and yeah i uh, will talk to all y'all soon Bye. hello everybody okay so for today i'm doing a sandra park smoky window eyeliner look um, first thing I did was I primed my eye with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC, applying that all over the lid until the brow bone. And then I'm going to take an angled liner brush and some black eyeshadow, right there. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be making my wing, it's just going to be an outline for the um, eyeshadow that we're going to be doing for today. And you want it to be very, very high. Um, Next, I'm going to be taking a Rindy K Zero pencil and just lining the top part of my lid. Don't put the um, pencil on the wing, you just want the lid to be covered with black pencil. Then I'm taking a black eyeshadow and then just smudging that all over the lash line, also bringing it up to the lid. And then taking my Maybelline Stylish Smokes quad, I'm taking the silver and then patting that on top of that eyeshadow just so it lines up a little bit. And take your time with this part because you don't want it to be messy. So I'm just blending that out and then taking that liner again or the eyeshadow I'm making a little triangle on the outer corner and then I'm just softening it up with a blending brush. Next I'm going to be taking a matte white and highlighting the eyebrow bone bringing it into the inner tear duct and then taking a shimmery white and bringing it into the inner tear duct. And then I'm taking a black gel liner and lining the bottom of my lash line and then sponging it out with some black shadow. And you want it to connect the top wing and the bottom wing together so it looks like one big line. <laughs> you can see me singing. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyways, yeah, I'm just taking a blending brush just make sure everything is very diffused and seamless. And then I'm going to be taking a black pencil liner watering my waterline. And then I'm just smudging that out with some silver eyeshadow, creating a more smoky, shimmery eye. Take your time with this part again because you can get a lot of fallout. Next, I'm just blending my eyes with a liquid liner and just following the shape that we made and making a wing. Next, oh my god, am I singing in this part again? <laughs> I was singing along with the video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just taking my fake lashes and applying glue to them. And I'm just taking some really voluminous lashes and applying that to my lash line. And then next, I'm just going to go back in and blend everything together. Next, I'm taking a bronzer and contouring my face. And then just buff it out with an clean brush. Next I'm taking a highlighter, a matte white, and then I'm just going to put applying that to the tops of my cheekbones to create a very nice sculpted face. Next I'm going to be taking Well Dressed Blush by MAC and applying that with an angled blush brush to the apples of my cheekies and then blending it up to my temples. Then I'm going to be taking a um, East and Snob lip liner by Rimmel and just lining my lips. And then a matte um, nude lipstick just to nude up the color of my lips and blending out my fingers. Then taking another matte pink lipstick, I'm going to put that on top of it very lightly. And then again blending out my finger and then I'm taking an Arts Turkish Delight and applying that over the top. Pretty much 
which completes the look. Hope you guys enjoyed this and stay tuned for more Toon 1 tutorials.